Hey, glad you came back. So today, uh, I'm going to be trying out um, a curry sauce in a jar, right? I saw it. You know, you know I love chicken tikka masala, but this is a butter chicken, which is very similar to chicken tikka masala. So this curry, I'm going to be trying out. There's a new non bread I'm trying. Normally, I get it from Trader Joe's. You guys know that. But this time, I try, I'm trying the local um, artisan non uh, uh, from my local grocery store. See how that goes. Um, my mouth is watering. So you got a solid thumbnail. This is what we're doing. Now, yes, I like a lot of sauce. Give this a test, even though I tasted it while I was cooking it. Mm. I'm going to try something that's numb. See if it's good to go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We did work today. Let me tell you the work I did. Let's get to it. Hey, this is Charles Sharon. That's the best elevated music I ever heard. Okay, so <clears throat> what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be reviewing a couple of items in the Indian cuisine. Okay, um, you, you know we do chicken tikka masala, right? Um, I prefer the one in a jar. You know, could I make it myself? Yeah, I could. I haven't yet on the channel, but I could. But what I like to do when I see these curries. Uh, I want to try them out. Peanut Gallery is going to try them out. So this particular one, this is from uh, Patox, right? This is actually a butter chicken, right? Versus the normal um, curry that we eat a lot in the house of straw, uh, which is the chicken tikka masala. Uh, and what I'm also going to be checking out is this non bread that I got this artisan bread, this stone fire non? Gonna be trying that out, and of course, because it's a peanut gallery, uh, I'm going to be adding some cream to this just to ease it out a little bit. Now, just for general knowledge, you have the chicken tikka masala, right? And then you have the butter chicken, and a lot of people they get them confused, and I can understand why they get them confused, okay. Because they're, in essence, or I guess I could say, uh, in the embodiment of the dish, it's the same dish, okay? The difference is, chicken tikka masala is generally more spicier than the butter chicken, right? It, uh, the chicken tikka masala also has bigger chunks of, you know, your, your onions and, and you know, your tomatoes. Um... And it has a, a certain richness to it, to it. Now, the butter chicken, the benefit that that has, it is normally creamier, right? It doesn't have so many big chunks in it. Um, and then you can kind of vary it. Now, this particular one, it does have uh, smoked paprika in it, right? Mama Tra doesn't like that, but we're going to see. I'm going to see how she handles it. Uh, and that's why I'm going to add cream into it. Not only will it make it creamier, but it's going to somewhat mask that smoked paprika that she doesn't like. Okay, I know I talked a, a bit here, but hey, knowledge is power. So let me show you what I'm working with, and then we're going to get in on this. Oh, oh, uh, you, you're not going to see me cook the naan bread, because all it is is you put it in the oven 400 degrees if it's frozen for five, six minutes, but I normally do it about eight minutes, okay? But I'm going to show you the process of doing the actual uh, curry. Let's get to it. So again, real simple. We have our butter chicken curry. We have some cream, because I'm going to be using the cream. And then the chicken. Now, the chicken, I've pretty much diced it up. 
Uh, it's up to you how much chicken you use. Some people like a lot of chicken, some people don't. And you can also omit this chicken. Don't use any chicken at all. Because this is a vegan, so it can be completely vegan. All right, let's get this to the stove. All right, so the first thing you want to do, the fire on, or medium, let this heat up a bit. All right, now we're going to add some oil to this. So we can saute our chicken. You can use any oil you want. I'm using um, extra virgin olive oil. And then once we, once the chicken has been cooked, about 75% of the way through, we're going to remove it and start working on the sauce. A piece of chicken in the see. Yeah. Add the chicken in. Out of habit, add salt, pepper. And give this about another minute before we flip it or before we agitate it. All right. Always turn your handle away in case you know you might bump it, you see? And the, the temperature is medium, medium high. We're going to give this another couple of minutes and then we're going to take it out. All right, let's get these guys out. There's juice and oil put right in here. Juice, oil, everything right in. Because we're, we're going to be adding it back, you see. Now we want to add the sauce. The curry. Now, once you, oh, it smells amazing. Once you pour this in, you want to add about a half of this jar of water, or you could use chicken stock. But if you want to keep it vegan, you can use vegetable stock, but you know, water is good. Halfway up, put the top on, shake it up, add it back. And it goes. Mix it. Incorporate the water. Now, once this comes to a simmer, I'm going to let it simmer for a couple minutes. Then I'm gonna taste it. Now I'm gonna I'm turn it down here to medium low to medium while it simmers just a bit. Uh, the reason why I'm tasting it is because I want to see if I really need to add the cream or is this going to be peanut gallery approved. 
All right, got my taste in chopsticks. Turn this on the low. Let's see what we got. Yep. Oh yeah. But I am gonna have to have some some uh, cream. For me, it's good. But for them, I need to add just a little bit of cream. A couple tablespoons. Mix it in. Get it incorporated. It's going low. Because it's already thick enough. Plus, you don't want this curry to be too thick because you want some to, you know, to be able to seep through your rice, right? Give it another little taste. Taste some chopsticks again. Yep. Bingo. Kino. All right. Add the chicken back with the juices. on low we're gonna put the lid on we're gonna let it simmer for about five minutes then we're gonna take turn the heat off there we go Time's up on this. Turn the heat off. Nice. Let's plate it up. Some of our butter chicken with the sauce here. Sauce. Couple pieces of naan. All right. Let's see what we got. Okay, just real quick. I know you're watching the video right now, but just real quick. Look, uh, you asked for it. The hot sauces are available, right, uh, at strawsharaw.com. It's sweet. It's thick. Oh, tropical habanero. I know you're going to love it. So check it out. Let me let you get back to your video. Enjoy your day. All right, so here we have it. Our butter chicken with naan bread. It tastes good. Again, if you try this, you won't be disappointed. We did work today, and that's all that matters. Thanks for watching. Okay, so the peanut gallery, they tried it. They enjoyed it. This is definitely a House of Straw approved meal. Okay? So if you find this in the stores, give it a shot yourself. Now remember... You got masala sauce, the chicken tikka masala, right? But then you have the butter chicken sauce. They're both curries, and they both taste very similar. Now, the peanut gallery, although they did enjoy this, they do prefer the chicken tikka masala one better, right? 
because it's actually a little spicier and it's a little chunkier and they picked up on that right away so yes this is thumbs up give it a try find it in your local store you probably got it right i know walmart should have it if you got walmart still in your area thanks for watching enjoy your day Hey, we did work today, right? If you like this video, if you like the recipe, try it out. Let me know what you say, okay? If you're not already subscribed, hey, go now, hit subscribe, join the peanut gallery. Hey, we have room for you, and our arms are always open. And you know what else? We'll even leave the light on for you at night so you can find us in the dark. Also, if we're not connected on Instagram, go to Instagram. Book name is Shawshara. Look for the great cat, and let's connect. That being said, you saw what I cooked. I got to feed the masses. Let's get to it. Thanks for watching, and enjoy your day.